Hi, I'm Dr. Olson, and I'm the uh, director of the undergraduate microbiology program. And uh, I just want to tell you a little bit about uh, our, our micro major here at uh, NC State. So microbiology is, is a pretty, pretty large subject. It's really the study of living things that are too small to see and how they impact our lives. So I want to talk first a little bit about who, who the microbes are, okay? So this is the tree of life. It's based on uh, the 16S ribosome sequence. So any organism that has a ribosome, and these are all the free living organisms on Earth, um, is represented on this tree. Uh, and just kind of to orient you, uh, we're up here on this, the tip of this little tree up here. These are the eukaryotes. We've got the animals, we've got the plants, and we've got the fungi. Everything else on this tree are the microbes, and these are what we study. In addition to the organisms that have a ribosome, we also study the viruses. So we, you can see this is a pretty broad uh, uh, spectrum of, of organisms that we study in microbiology. So what, do you, what, what are micro majors interested in? So there's really three major things that people who major in microbiology are interested in. Um, number one is how microbes affect health. If you think about all of those microbes on there, we've got a lot of pathogens, we've got the viruses. So uh, um, they have a, a lo very large effect on people uh, um, who get sick, about 50% of anybody who's in the hospital is there because they have an infectious disease. And in addition to the pathogens, um, there's a lot of other microbes that live in and on us, the microbiome. And so microbiologists are very interested in how these uh, uh, organisms help us with digestion, help us with our, our uh, um, infections. Second group is the, the uh, people who like to, microbes, who will like to use tools, microbes as tools to make things happen, okay? We use microbes all the time in biotechnology. We use them to make vaccines. We use them to make uh, uh, pharmaceuticals. Uh, we make them to use valuable products like biofuels. And the last group is microbes as subjects of scientific investigation. Most of the major scientific breakthroughs that have happened in the past uh, um, uh, um, 100 years, really, has happened first in the, uh, in the world of the microbes. They're just very easy to, uh, to, to, uh, to work on, very easy to, to uh, make big discoveries. We have, uh, um, when we're talking about the micro degrees, um, we have the microbiology degree. About half of our students don't actually choose a concentration. But then we've got three concentrations that generally fall into those three areas. Uh, we've got microbial health, and about 33% of our uh, uh, um, graduates are going to go into microbial health care. And in my, we've got the microbial research, the students who are going to probably go on to uh, um, graduate school. And then we've got microbial biotechnology, and these are the students that are going to uh, really be trained to go into uh, the biotechnology industry. Um, we're talking about our microbiology curriculum. Uh, this is really following the normal life science foundation courses. We have two math, take, uh, um, two physics, four chemistries, uh, two biologies in, in the biochemistry. Then we've got our core major requirements, which are general microbiology, medical microbiology, regulation, diversity, and uh, our senior capstone uh, um, uh, um, current issues in microbiology, which is our uh, uh, a seminar course. Um, we also, all of our majors take principles of genetics and biochemistry. In addition to this, we have about 40 major electives that you can choose. Uh, if you're in the microbial research uh, uh, concentration, these electives that are real popular are uh, um, BSc 493. This is special problems in uh, microbiology. This is where you actually will do research in a laboratory somewhere on, on campus. We have about 80 microbiology labs and about five colleges. Um, you will do, a, do a research in that laboratory uh, with the graduate students, the postdocs, and the PIs, uh, getting valuable experience. Um, BSc 492, this is our external learning experience. This is if you pick a microbiology lab that's in the triangle or in one of the, uh, um, one of the labs uh, um, outside, of, uh, outside of the university. Um, other classes that these uh, students like to take is like BIT 410. This is man manipulation of recombinant DNA. Uh, you learn how to clone. Uh, I think one of the big projects that they do is they clone a uh, fluorescent protein into E. coli and you make it glow. Very popular class for our microbial research concentration. Um, in this, you can get 12 credits for these uh, um, research type bases. So it's really popular if you know that you want to be working in a laboratory. Microbial health science is another popular elective. These are people who are probably going to be going on to a professional school, uh, medical school, dental school, vet school, uh, PA school, uh, pharmacy. Um, these are really designed for students. They're going into this pro health professional career, popular electives, uh, molecular virology, um, immunology, looking at host pathogen interactions, bacterial pathogenesis, uh, or emerging or re-emerging uh, diseases. 
our microbial biotechnology concentration, this is really geared for people who want to be working in the biotechnology industry. We have a lot of biotechnology here in the Research Triangle Park, so a lot of people are very interested in, in finding a career in that, those areas. Um, popular electives, uh, fundamentals of microbial biocell transformation. This is a class where we're actually learning to run these large lab-scale biofermenters. Um, these are the same fermenters that these companies are using. Um, this course is, uh, um, uh, um, you learn how to run these, you learn how to make uh, um, some products in there. We've got microbial biotechnology and some other courses in, uh, um, in the biotechnology program and uh, um, in, in our BTEC center over on Centennial Campus on how to run these fermenters, how to make these products. So where do our majors end up? Well, pretty much the same place where they're interested in. Um, when we look uh, about three years out, 94% of our BS students are fully employed or enrolled in a postgraduate uh, education. I'm pretty much evenly split here. Uh, we've got healthcare, we've got people going into the workforce, and we've got people going into graduate school. Um, and so uh, um, pr pretty much follows our, our concentrations and, and where our interests lie. So a couple of things to consider. We have about 120 students in our, in our program. So it's fairly small by bi biological sciences uh, um, um, standards, but uh, um, that helps keep our class sizes for our senior level students kind of small. Uh, you get a lot of individual attention. We have a lot of these lab courses and we have a lot of uh, um, opportunities to work in laboratories in these 50 microbiology labs across 55 different colleges. Um, there's a lot of engagement then among the microbiologists, not just within biological sciences, but all over campus. Microbiology also offers a minor, if you're interested in a, 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 a minor in, in microbiology. And uh, we've, we've got a microbiology club that's pretty active on campus. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact me directly at this uh, email address. Um, I'm right over in Thomas Hall, and I'd be happy to talk to you.